Micrornas function as small non-coding RNAs that recruit argonaut-containing protein complexes to specific target mRNAs to regulate their expression. The story I will tell today started with trying to get a better understanding of how microRNAs find specific targets and regulate them in vivo, but ended up also revealing a novel function for Argonaut in regulating the processing of LET7 primary transcripts. In the past 10 years, hundreds of microRNAs have been discovered in the genomes of most multicellular organisms. Our own human genome is thought to contain over a thousand different microRNA genes. While understanding the function of all these new regulatory molecules is a big challenge in the field, their importance is highlighted by the numerous diseases that have been linked to misregulation of specific microRNAs. Listed here are just a few examples where specific microRNAs have been found to be expressed much higher or much lower in the disease compared to normal tissue. In some cases, this is still just a correlation, but in others, there is a direct effect of the altered microRNA level, such as the decreased expression of LET7 microRNA in lung cancers. Thus, an important goal is to understand why microRNA levels become altered in disease states and, in turn, what protein coding targets are misregulated, leading to the disease phenotypes. Although microRNAs function as approximately 22 nucleotide guide RNAs, they derive from much longer RNAs that undergo multiple processing steps to produce the mature microRNA. In animals, microRNAs use partial base pairing to recognize specific target sequences. It is this feature that allows one microRNA to target many different mRNAs, and it also makes it difficult to predict which genes will be targeted by a given microRNA. To help solve this problem, we utilize a biochemical approach to isolate and identify sequences directly bound by the argonaut-containing microRNA complex. We perform these experiments in C. elegans worms, where a single argonaut called argonaut-like gene 1, or ALG1, carries out microRNA function and identified almost 5,000 binding sites. In addition to creating a map of argonaut binding sites and protein coding mRNAs, we learned something inter some interesting general features of microRNA targeting. We found that the sites in 3' UTRs were enriched for pairing to the 5' end or seed region of microRNAs, but also a large fraction, about 40%, must use some other type of pairing motif for recognition. Also, just as many sites were found in exon coding regions as in 3' UTRs. Interestingly, though, targets with 3' UTR bound sites generally underwent mRNA degradation, but this was not the case for messenger RNAs with only exon bound sites, suggesting that position in the mRNA may relate to the regulation of the micro by the microRNA complex. We also noted that genes in the microRNA pathway, such as Argonaut itself, were often targets, and this autoregulation may confer robustness to the pathway. This work also led to an unexpected discovery. We found that in addition to protein coding mRNAs, Argonaut also binds non coding RNAs, specifically the initial transcript that gives rise to the LET7 microRNA. And it is the mature LET7 microRNA that recruits Argonaut to its own primary transcript. The function of this interaction seems to be to promote LET7 processing. In three different genetic backgrounds, loss of Argonaut, a loss of targeting ability by the mature LET7, or removal of the binding site, all resulted in increased levels of the LET7 primary transcript substrate and reduced levels of the mature product. In summary, we have used a biochemical and computational method to identify microRNA complex binding sites in a live organism. And the challenge now is to match specific microRNAs to these sites. Additionally, we uncovered a new role for Argonaut in promoting the processing of LET7 and are now seeking to understand how general this function may be for other microRNAs and across species, as well as trying to determine the mechanism of how Argonaut regulates microRNA biogenesis.